What's up, guys? This is Savage Conversation. I like to talk about tough topics in a tough world so we can teach the youth how to be better for the next generation. Today, let's talk about modern dating. Now, in case you haven't realized, and in case you haven't been out there in the dating world in the past couple of years, modern dating is trash. I don't know why we're treating it like a math equation trying to get to know someone that we actually like or that we think we might like. And I got some notes here that I'm going to go over. I'll probably read from my tablet for a little bit. But here's my three reasons why modern dating sucks. Reason number one, we don't tend to lead with ourselves. We tend to create a character or a caricature of ourselves thinking that that's what the person wants. Okay, flip the, flip the script a little bit. If someone was trying to pursue you, would you want them to put on a show for you? Would you want them to put on a character, be an actor basically of themselves? Or would you want them to be their true self considering that their true self is who you'll be with if you decide to date them? Stop putting on an act when you're trying to get to know someone romantically be yourself because putting on that act you're gonna have to keep up that act for however long you're with them whatever the case may be be yourself don't be an actor in a relationship that's called a movie second thing let commonality lead you why are we it seems like People are straying from common interests and now they looking for sex. I might make a whole series about this dating thing. If you both are into a deity or if you both have religious convictions, let that lead you. If you both like video games, let that lead you. If you both like knitting or whatever the case may be, reading or coffee or whatever the case may be, let your common interest lead you that will build, build be the foundation to what the relationship could be about and once you let commonality lead you that can lead to other things that you both enjoy you can also learn from each other there's nothing wrong with learning from your partner there's nothing wrong with learning from someone who you have a romantic or some type of relationship with let commonalities be the foundation of what you want to build on so many times we allow sex to be the foundation and we say, oh, I we, we banged like two weeks ago. I banged her on the first day or I banged him on the first day, blah, blah, blah. And that, tends, that ends up being the foundation for what the whole relationship is about. And truth be told, I spoke about this in another video. Sex is less than 5% of relationships. Why is it less than 5%? Because you don't spend two, three, four, five hours having sex. You probably spend two or one. Most women have said it needs to be open 30 minutes. So why would you let sex be the foundation of a relationship? You should let your common interest be the foundation of a relationship. Sex, believe it or not, is supposed to be the icing on the cake. It shouldn't be the cake itself. The cake itself should be shared time. Time spent in each other's presences doing the things that you both love, love to do. Or things that one loves to do and the other is enjoying watching the other and enjoy themselves. That's another thing. With common interests, there's nothing wrong with being with the person you want to be with, watching them and helping them enjoy themselves and vice versa. That's, that's why it's a relationship. You like seeing the other person happy. Period. Another thing. Another reason why modern dating is trash because we're paying attention to the outside noise. Stop paying attention to the outside noise. That's why modern dating right now is trash because we have all these people out here trying to tell us what to do, how to do it. There's videos about when to call back, when to text back, how to text, this, this, and this, and this. No. Stop paying attention to all the outside influences. If the outside influences are telling you the 10-step process or whatever the hell it is. What you should be doing, in my opinion, the outside notes you should be paying attention to is relationships that you have observed that work. 
what relationships have you observed that work? Whether it be your parents, friend of yours, or whoever you've known for a period of time, or whatever the case may be, that their relationship works, they're both happy, they both talk, and they have lasted for a number of years, or whatever the case may be, and they just, their relationship is working. Stop paying attention to the outside noise. The only outside noise you should pay attention to is those relationships that you observe that are working and are thriving. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, love you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Make these things go viral. Relationships right now and dating right now is trash because of those three things. Love you guys.